Hi everybody, it's Rika. Welcome to a house of stitch and stash. As you can see, I changed the name of my YouTube channel from a stitchery book to uh, what, is it, what it is now. And um, really, I have no explanation except when you are driving cross country for 20 something hours for, for three plus days with a dog in your back seat, um, you kind of think about a lot of things. And as I was driving, um, I don't know, the interstate, I had an epiphany and I was like, you know what? I feel like the um, the title name um, is gonna be much better if it's just a has a stitch and stash because it flows better as opposed to the other one. Um, but anyway, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rika and um, I just talk about um, anything cross stitching. Um, I know that I haven't been on here in a long time and that's because again we were doing a cross-country move and we've just been super busy I'm actually still um, living in a hotel um, because we have no internet at our house and I'm still organizing and just been super busy um, my husband um, is in the military and this morning he actually did his um, change of command um, which I don't know if I would be able to share with you a clip of like a video clip in a few days I'm gonna see if I could find um, something about it um, it should be in like some kind of news I have to go ahead and check to see if it will be in a local news um, but anyway um, so I've been trying to stitch um, as we were moving so, but it's been very difficult to, um, one, get my stitching stuff together um, and travel and not be in your normal space with your normal stuff. Um, so um, I, I haven't been really stitching, and I, but I try to stitch as much as I can. Um, also, um, as you all may know, we moved from Pennsylvania to Oklahoma and um, if you are into cross stitching, you know that um, the Silver Needle is located in Tulsa. And so as we were doing our cross country move, I asked my husband if we could um, spend um, the night in Tulsa on our way in our new duty station. And he said it's okay. And so I was able to visit um, the Silver Needle. I only had like 30 minutes, um, but I hope to have the video clip of that trip of um, a quick tour of the Silver Needle um, in my next video. I have the clips, I just need to edit, but my computer and everything else is still in boxes. And so I'm actually recording this on my um, on my iPad. So I don't know how the quality is gonna be, so bear with me. I just wanted to make sure that I upload this video before um, I don't have time so anyway um, let's get to it um, I was watching um, Holly and, and Anita um, and they are so awesome I think I binge to watch their videos pretty much like two days straight so what I would do at night I would grab my stitching stuff and um, just listen to them and my husband's like what are you listening to <laughs> and at one point I think he started watching them with me um, so I've been watching them and hopefully one day I'll meet them they're just super fun and it they just made me happier uh, with us moving it's just been kind of difficult to um, one I don't know anybody <laughs> and so um, just moving to a new place finding your tribe finding your people it's always difficult especially if you have uh, social anxiety like I do um, and most people don't think I do but I have social anxiety but I try to fake it <laughs> so um, yeah but anyway so this is a different story but I've been watching them a whole lot so if you haven't checked them out please check them out they're super fun I'm sure I'm sure you know who they are if you've been into the floss tube community I'm sure you know who a Holly and Anita is um, but anyway so yeah check them out um, also, I've been watching a lot of um, 
just keep stitching um, by um, Pam and Steph so um, yeah they're super fun as well I just been like watching videos that are just fun and entertaining lighthearted um, because when you I guess like again when you're moving and um, you're living in a hotel um, you miss your dog because your dog's at the house you're gonna live in but she can't stay with you so I've been kind of visiting her back and forth I just been kind of um, needing that uplifting um, videos so anyway um, I saw that they were doing this segment where they do um, what they're into what they're cur what they're currently into and so as I was thinking about what am I into lately especially with me moving and um, you know trying to get my stuff together and all that um, I do have a couple of things so as you all may know Oklahoma since we moved here had been in this record-breaking um, like the hottest weather they've ever had I think you were in like the 114 110s at one point um, I was surprised my movers were able to um, um, what do you call it power through the weather um, but yeah I, that is the first thing that hit me about Oklahoma was how hot it was I was not used to this like I'm like I'm melting so um, so yeah so my skin had um, kind of been super dry and I don't know if because it's the weather or just a change of um, or like stress I have no idea but my legs had been super dry. I mean, I'm talking about like flaky dry. Never ever that happened to me before. Um, and so I've been on a hunt for um, moisturizer and body scrub. So um, I went to Target and I found, hang on, I'm sitting on our bed and I'm still in my like dress and everything. Um, I found first the body scrub this is what it's called. It's called Flake Away by Soap and Glory. And it smells so good. It smells so amazing. That's how it looks like. It's a body scrub. And it just left my skin super, super soft. The first, like, I just kind of went like, you know what? Let me go and try it. And, I, I mean, I can't say that it disappeared all of it. But it's my, like, maybe second day trying it out. And it's, it's been super good. And then I also got the um, body cream that goes with it. And mm, it's not the same as the other one. And this one too, it helped my skin um, stay de stay hydrated the whole entire day. So I'm not like super dry. Like you can't, I feel like you can even write on my skin. That's how dry it was. So I was able to, um, to get that thing situated. Also uh, my hair. So I've actually be, um, been um, leaving my hair down, like not curly, just like straight. I don't care, I get out of the shower and I just blow dry it. Um, but today, because it was such a, uh, a big day for our family, I had to curl my hair. And because the weather, the humidity, it just haven't been staying curly. And so um, yesterday I just popped into, um, I don't have it with me, it's in the bathroom. But I just popped into a local beauty store called Beauty Essence and I picked up um, dry shampoo by Amika. I can say Amika, Amika, Amika. And I got the silver um, silken up dry conditioner and the um, silken, silken up um, dry shampoo. So you the dry shampoo, you put it on the roots of your hair to keep it less oily and then the conditioner you put it on towards the end to keep it hydrated because my hair is super dry everything is super dry it's super dry in this place it's so i my skin is super dry i feel like i'm super dry <laughs> but um anyway i picked up picked this up and then i also got the um it's called manageable or something but anyway it's the it's the hairspray there's one that's it's called headstrong and that means that you can't really like touch your hair, but this one you can kind of still um, touch your hair, but it keeps it keeps the style of your hair. Um, so I got one of those, and um, this has been since all morning long. It, it still looks pretty decent. So um, yeah, those are the things I'm into. Um, what else? Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm super into um, this purse from. Um, 
Longchamp, I think it's the La Plage. Um, this is one of um, one of the things I asked for my husband when we were at the airport in Dominican Republic if I could get one um, because they are so it's like a little tote bag. It's a canvas bag, so it's very sturdy. Um, you can put a ton of stuff in there, but it actually, if you know this brand. It actually, you can um, travel with it if you're traveling and then you can fold your bag and make it into like a small clutch. So you can put it in your suitcase and then in case you have like extra things that you have um, that you bought in your trip, you can um, pop it in here and um, yeah, have it with you. But I've got the pinkish color because I like pink. Um, the bright pink I thought was too bright. I feel like this will go with a lot more of my clothes. Um, so yeah, I got this. I think I had got the medium size too. All right, so on to um, stitching stuff. So um, I have to work in progress, only two, because I couldn't bring all the ones I wanna work on. So they're still in toes and boxes, um, but um, I've been working on, I'm not even going to take it out of the crease net, I'm sorry. So I don't have, I don't even have, I don't even have an iron right now. There's an iron on the hotel, but I, I'm planning on like checking out in the next two days because I want to, I want to live in my house. Even if I have the living clutter, as long as we have internet, I think I'll be okay. So, um, I've been working on the secret guard, no, the garden party by Myrna Bilia and this is how it looks like um, now. So I'm working on the second girl. She has a face about a part of her arm, but this dress, it's kind of making it difficult. I don't know what it is. I think this part with all the con not confetti, but changing the floss, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of making the progress very slowly. So um, I had to put her away for a bit because yeah, I'm starting to get bored and um, anyway, and I really wanted to stitch on something Christmassy. So um, I did. <laughs> so I finally started on, it looks a little crooked, but I swear it's not. Um, I started on the Little House Needleworks. Um, house Christmas I really I'm so bad at remembering all this like the titles of the collections and patterns I swear I need to be better at it but anyway I'm working on this pattern um, I'm almost done with the first one but um, yeah I've been really enjoying it I'm trying to get as much Christmas stuff as I can so that I can be ready for um, Christmas time when we um, host people at our house. And um, so yeah, I have something to decorate our, our house. Um, so anyway, so that's that, that's the progress. Um, and that is it. That is the only thing I did. How embarrassing. I feel like I've been stitching a whole lot. And Anyway, I think I, I think um, normally I can stitch up until up until um, one to two hours a day, but lately I've been only able to stitch for about thirty minutes at a time. So yeah, my progress on my whips have been very slow. So those are the two things that I've been working on. Um, so um, I do have a couple of um, haul, and I actually have another order that's coming in which is more of a floss um, order. And um, only because I kitted up to these two patterns that I have recently acquired. And um, I don't know why I've never, like I never knew about this, this company or this designers. It's actually two, two of them. Um, but anyway, I was at the Silver Needle. I had full intentions of buying um, smaller cross stitching things like Little House Cottage, no, Little House Cottage, Little, Little House Needleworks and Country Cottage, um, like an, some sampler, like something small because I feel like I've been working on a ton of big projects that 
it's making it difficult for me to continue because I just want to have like a finish. So I wanted to squeeze in like small things in between my big projects so that I can stay motivated to keep stitching the things, the big projects that I do have. So um, anyway, let's get to the haul. I went to the Little House Needleworks and um, I didn't buy a whole lot. Well, did I buy a whole lot? I don't know if I bought a whole lot. I still spent a little bit, quite a bit of money. Although I was, like, it's funny, um, the owner, I can't remember her name. The owner of the Silver Needle actually checked me out of um, the store and I asked her if I could, if I could shoot um, clips while I was there. But she goes, well, for somebody who was only here for like 30 minutes, do you did a little bit of damage still still a, still a bit of damage i'm like oh really i was like oh, i didn't think i was i didn't think i did really bad i, I just gotta grab a couple of things but anyway i did not pick any mirabilia which is surprising um but that is one thing that the store does not have a lot of is the mirabilia, mirabilia and the corbett patterns but everything else that you can think of i feel like the store has it i mean it's so it's so big i I could spend hours in there if I can. So I told my husband, I'm gonna have to make another day trip there and like completely stay in the store as long as I want. Um, so once we get settled, I think I'm gonna go and drive there. It's like three hours away from where we are. So I'm gonna go back and um, yeah, and spend spend some time. But anyway, now of my mumbling. The first um, pattern that I got was this um, Blackbird design. Um, Sweet Land of Liberty. It's a five patriotic cross stitch projects. So I saw, who oh, has this pattern? This book. I think it was um, Linda Jo from Pretty Southern. I think she has this and Kindred Stitcher. I think. I've been watching so many videos. I said Vana. I think it's fun out from the, the, from the, twi the Twisted Stitcher, which I have also been like obsessed with. Um, but anyway, so I saw that they have a couple of um, just like all of these pretty designs on front. So I thought that I could do them and they're not really big. Um, and it would also introduce me to um, Blackbird designs because um, I have never ever 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 stitch anything. Well. I lied. There is one cross stitch that I found that I actually started on. It's by Willow. Willow Sanford. Willow. Anyway, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and broaden my horizon, and I'm gonna stitch blackboard design. So I picked this up, and I thought this would be a good introduction because then I get all these patterns and all this pattern in one booklet. So they have that, and then this thing so the pattern is the pattern that I um, sorry stitching that I didn't I haven't finished is called um, land of the free it's by willow yeah willow hill willow hill samplings it's on my Instagram but anyway so I'm gonna go and finish that I got the thread for it because I don't know, I don't know where all my threads went for it, but I bought, I just bought like DMC to finish it off um, so that I could give it to my husband as a um, gift for him um, for a congratulation for taking his um, command. But anyway, so I was walking around the store and they have this, um, what do you call that? Well, that thing not sample stitch you know what I'm talking about it's stitch samples stitch samples I think it's what they're called um all over the store and um this is what or actually this is what caught my eye first these are um praiseworthy um stitches and they are designed by Pam and Susan from North Carolina actually I was like Oh my gosh, I'm from North Carolina. But this is the one that caught my eye. They had it this at the um, the Tricot Con Connor. And they also had like a whole Christmas section at, at the Silver Needle. So I'm like, 
that is so pretty and i've been really wanting to stitch like a village or a city that has like christmas like i just this really was like i'm like i gotta have that it's called a churchyard um christmas um so i really want to start it so i got the pattern and then i also bought the matching um of someone who's across the way we're living in this um quarters um and it's like a it's called a comanche house so it's like reminds me of a bit of bread and breakfast but it's actually actually sweet but the, the walls are thin so anyway i bought the um the fabric for it and this one is called mirage by picture this plus Um, and then I picked up um, this one for Halloween. So I've never stitched anything Halloween before. This is gonna be the first one. Um, it is called Widow Black's BNB. And I picked up some of the threads for it. Um, I was such in a rush that I couldn't even think. I was like, I don't, I can't even. I don't even know how to read. <laughs> Like, I don't even know how to read this. What am I supposed to do with all these? Like, is it either or what am I supposed to do? So I just grab a couple of things um, just to get started, but I actually have not started on it yet. I guess I've been busy. But um, yeah, so I got this and I also bought the, um, the fabric for it. Um, it calls for Murky, Murky from Picture This Plus. And I started gritting, um, gritting it a little bit to help me get started because I don't like stitching from the middle. I like stitching from like how I write left to right or left down. Um, so yeah, pretty fabric. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm like, it's like, I'm pretty, it's pretty, but I'm embracing my hand dyed fabrics. I'm like, I'm gonna branch out, I'm gonna try something new, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like hand that fabrics. So yeah, so then I got a couple of the threads. Um, and my goodness, that's it. But, um, so if you didn't know, the store in Maryland called the Needle Craft Corner is having their anniversary sale. So picture this plus, stop doing their Christmas in July sale like this year but this store they're doing their anniversary sale so I think the picture this plus fabrics are all 20% off and so I ordered um, a fabric called confetti which would come in like four to six weeks I'm not in any rush but I want to stitch my fairy um fairy ideal is that how you say it is it ideal or ideal anyway by memorabilia on it um and then i also ordered which is insane when it comes i ordered all of the um the threads i'm missing from here all of the the um fancy floss and all the fancy floss for um for this design so that's like it's a ton so i ordered those and they should come in like two to three days um, so that's gonna be one of my biggest thread haul, but I have never like I've stitched Karen water lilies, but I have actually never um, used them um, Hand dyed cotton floss before and so this is like me trying out and branching out and exploring new things and Yeah, but anyway That is it. Oh there is one more thing because Anita mentioned this at their, on their latest video and this one too. It's one of my other haul. So the, tw the Twisted Stitcher Vana recommended this um, pair of scissors so I grabbed one and because I feel like my stitches have not been super pretty 
I was looking at Belinda from an itch to stitch um, how her stitches just look so pretty and just look so amazing and they look so like just precise like all of them look the same and my stitches are just not because I just don't care I just I don't railroad I just stitch um, but I'm trying my best to be a little bit more um, better at the stitching so I got a um, oh my gosh what is this called trolley needle pretty sure this is called on Amazon and Anita made a comment because um, what is her name from stitch all the things I'm blanking out I swear I need to write things down I really do I really need, I really need to write things down but anyway she was using one of these so I was like you know what I feel like I should go and get one of those and teach myself how to be how to be more patient and stitch and make my stitches look prettier so um, I've been doing that like I did that, um, a ton let me see it on this project um, so yeah you just put it on your index finger and then as you go back on your so I do one stitches well actually for this one I do one at a time so every time you go back on the top X on the top slant you just um, take your your needle needle and then help it um, kind of lay out flat so they don't twist but anyway so yeah I got one of these my husband's like what do you have in your fingers and I'm like uh something to poke your eye with just kidding <laughs> just kidding um so anyway yeah um that's it that is the only thing i'm into i've been working a whole lot on um things that are like my husband's like what are you doing doing um arts and crafts but let me show you something hang on one second i'm sitting on our bed hang on so yesterday and as you can see i still have our like my pins um, I should start making these as like needle minders too, but these are like the crust um, that you kind of put on your dress or whatever you're wearing. But anyway, so I um, he had it his reception today, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make um, these chocolates because my friend Heather sent me the file. She goes, you can use it if you like. If you don't use it, it's fine. But look at these. These are those Hershey chocolates, and I just wrap the look like his crest on there, so that um, see how it says Hershey, so that um, it's personalized to um, oops to his unit crest. So I did this like <laughs> set in front of the TV, and I just wrap them or cut them, and then wrap them individually like 180 pieces of these. But I thought they turned out really cute. Um, so yeah, super proud of that such a dork um but anyway that is it for now um hopefully i can get you guys the video of the silver needle here in about a week or two i just wish my house can be unpacked already um but anyway thank you guys for watching and i'm sorry if this is recorded on my ipad it's probably gonna be blurry probably can't hear me but um but anyway i hope you guys are all doing well Excuse me. I hope that you're stitching and finding the time to stitch. And um, I will talk to you guys on my next video. And um, have a good weekend. Oh, still it's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm still going there by day. Anyway, um, have a good week. And um, until next time, don't forget that I am doing a giveaway. And so if you haven't um, commented your favorite vacation spot on my second video please do so I am gonna pick the winner on the 29th and the 30th of this month so in just a few in just about a week but anyway um, again thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys very soon bye